Today I'm going to share three ways to pair stencils and watercolors to create easy, beautiful art pieces for your home. I'm using stencils from StencilRevolution.com. They have a huge selection of cute, trendy stencils. And what I really love is that you can buy them in a variety of sizes, so you can choose the perfect one for your project. They're flexible, durable, and reusable. I'm using Sakura's Koi Creative Art Color Palette, which is a portable set of watercolors that includes gorgeous fluorescent, metallic, and pearlescent shades. It also comes with a convenient water brush. The other product I'm using is a clear temporary adhesive spray. I'm using Craft Bond. You can experiment with different brands of mounting adhesives. Just be sure to read and follow the directions as they vary from brand to brand. I recommend covering your workspace with wrapping paper or newspaper before you get started. This first project is inspired by Batik fabric, which has a pattern created with wax that resists dye. Stencil Revolution has a selection of beautifully detailed mandala stencils that are perfect for this technique. In place of wax, we'll be using the spray adhesive as our resist medium. Lay the stencil over a piece of heavyweight paper, such as watercolor paper or mat board. Spray over the top of the stencil, lightly but thoroughly. Immediately remove the stencil, lifting straight up. Allow to dry completely before moving on to the next step. I'm painting this design using the fluorescent colors from the Koi Creative Art Colors palette. I decided to start in the center and blend a rainbow of colors in a circular design. I think it would also be pretty to create a monochromatic ombre design from top to bottom. The fun thing about this project is there's really no wrong way to do it. To remove the adhesive residue from your stencil, I recommend spraying it with Goo Gone Spray, then rinsing clean with warm, soapy water. I wanted to make something bold and graphic for this next project. I realized the fluorescent shades from my Koi Creative Art Color Palette showed up nicely on black paper. So I decided to make a background of random paint splatters. Create drips by holding the paper vertically and tapping the edge on the table. You could also experiment with using a blow dryer to push the color in various directions. Dip the water brush in paint and shake over the surface of the paper to make a spattering of colorful droplets. Allow to dry completely before moving on to the next step. Place a stencil on top of your paper. You can use washi tape to hold the stencil in place. One thing I really like about Stencil Revolution stencils is that they're transparent enough to see your design beneath, so it's easy to get the exact placement you want. I'm coloring the cutouts with a metallic gold pen touch marker. These markers are filled with a paint-like ink that will give our design a foil effect. It really catches the light and makes your artwork pop. This last piece is soft and simple, featuring a gentle color wash and shimmery pearlescent paint. I'm not going to use the adhesive mounting spray because I want the edges to feather and melt. We don't want hard lines or sharp edges on this piece. I'm using a lot of water and monochromatic shades on each arrow. Allow the colors to blend into each other. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Why don't I try this at home? The first time I did this, I removed the stencil immediately, which wasn't a good idea since the paint spread and the arrows weren't recognizable. So I tried again, allowing the color to dry fully before lifting the stencil. This is the look I wanted, soft and hand painted. To find the perfect stencil for your project, 
visit my sponsor, StencilRevolution.com. Check out the Koi Creative Art Color Palette and Metallic Pen Touch Markers at my sponsor site, SakuraOfAmerica.com. Which technique was your favorite? Try this at home.